Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you've had a great week so far and happy Friday to you almost into the weekend. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Chandler Jordan. And as we get into this weekend, the heat and humidity that we've already started getting used to here in the Midlands will make a triumphant return for us. And that's going to be especially during each of our afternoon Saturday and Sunday feels like temperatures back to around 110 degrees, which is why for both Saturday and Sunday, we have a first alert weather day in place out there for us as we wake up this morning a little earlier. We had some patchy fog that is starting to dissipate and it is revealing a little bit of cloud cover out there across parts of the region this morning as we wake up and get the day started. It's muggy and warm for us. All of us hanging out in the low and mid 70s by the afternoon. We heat up very quickly. Daytime highs are going to make it back into the low 90s. And when you factor in the humidity, a uh, feels like temperature into the triple digits. There are opportunities at a couple of pop up showers and thunderstorms, but I'd say for most of us, we stay rain free as we get into this upcoming afternoon. So unfortunately, the relief isn't going to be widespread. Just a few of us who will be lucky enough to pick up a shower or pick up a thunderstorm to help cool things off. Now, our feels like temperature, as I had mentioned, with the humidity today tops out around 103, but it continues to climb for Saturday as well as Sunday. Feels like temperatures for both afternoons this weekend well into the triple digits. As a matter of fact, Saturday afternoon, we're likely feeling as hot as 108. By Sunday afternoon, feeling as hot as 112. So this does mean to do everything you can to avoid the sun. Now, if you have lake plans or pool plans, make sure that you're drinking lots of water to help your body properly acclimate to the heat. Make sure if you can build in some breaks where you find some air conditioning or some shade with a fan to continue to help your internal temperature cool off. That's of course, as you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day. And also a friendly reminder, check on your neighbors, check in on the elderly that you might know in your life, and also check in on our pets too. They get as hot, if not hotter than we do once these temperatures start to make it well into the triple digits like this. So they'll also need lots of water as well as time inside this weekend because of the heat and because of the humidity. Now, we're also balancing this out with the opportunity at a couple of pop-up showers and storms. These opportunities at rain aren't necessarily widespread, but there will be a few of us who get lucky enough for some downpours to provide some relief from the heat for some brief moments, both today, Saturday, as well as Sunday afternoon. So here's first alert feature cast. We'll pick it up out there this morning, a little bit of leftover fog, and then we make it into the afternoon. You notice where once we get past lunchtime, we get a couple of bubble up summer like pop up thunderstorms. And for the rest of us, hot and humid with a feels like temperature that makes it back into the triple digits. Night tonight, we dry out. We're warm and muggy. Can't even rule out some fog out there for your Saturday morning. Temperatures are in the mid 70s at that point. We make it into Saturday afternoon. Notice how we get a couple of pop up summer like showers and storms that provides some of us some relief from the heat. For the rest of us, we're hot. We're very humid with a high temperature in the mid 90s and a feels like temperature well into the triple digits. And we do this all over again for the end of our weekend as well. By Saturday night, we're drying out. Your Sunday morning is dry, just humid and warm with temperatures in the mid 70s. And then once we make it into Sunday afternoon, that's where we have the opportunity to pick up on more heat more humidity and once again we watch out for a couple of summer like bubble up showers and thunderstorms that for at least a couple of us here in the midlands will be lucky enough to get some relief from the heat for the rest of us we stay dry feels like temperatures right around the 110 degree mark so we've got more heat and humidity on the way the good news sunday night cold front rolls through monday tuesday that gives us a little bit of relief check that out your daytime high only around 90 degrees and then by fourth of july and the upcoming fourth of july weekend we are very very hot and very very humid once again as a matter of fact high temperatures by the holiday and into the holiday weekend topping out right around 100 degrees. So if you think it's already hot now, 
already humid now, it continues to grow as we get into the start of July. So try to take advantage of these cooler moments while you have them. And of course, for your latest forecast, you can always head over to our website, wystv.com. You can scroll over to the first alert weather tab. That's where we have our rotating article. If you happen to be spending time outside, we've got a couple of pop-up showers and storms that you can watch on our interactive radar. And from there, you can just keep an eye out on your latest hour by hour first alert forecast on our website. Again, you can find that at WISTV.com. I hope you have a great Friday. Hope you have an even better weekend. Please just make sure you're taking it easy. Go ahead and start drinking your water today because it'll go ahead and start to add up the hydration that your body feels, especially as we head into this weekend. Try and find some shade or some air conditioning or some relief from a fan when you can, especially if you're gonna be spending some time outside at the pool or at the lake as we head into this upcoming weekend. And you're gonna to wanna to stay right there because coming up here in just a few minutes, we'll have what's new this morning.